All right, guys, we're back in the shop and we're working on the cooling system now. So you can see I've got the cooling system apart. And my goal here is to take the thermostat out. Uh, I have no need for the thermostat. Uh, some people like them. That's fine. I don't need them, so I take them out, and I'll show you what I do with that. And I've done that on all three of my betas now. So we'll go over the workbench, and let's take a look. All right, so here we are on the workbench, and as you can see, I've got the housing here, and I've got the thermostat apart. Here's the little O-ring. So this thermostat is staked, or cap here, is staked onto the housing, okay? And the way it goes together is it sits inside here, and the O-ring goes on, and then the other side of the housing attaches to it with screws. Some people say, well, hey, just take your thermostat out and throw it away. The problem is that thickness needs to be made up so that you get the proper squish on your O-ring. So the easiest thing for me to do is just gently take my multi-tool and grind these two little guys off there, pop it off, and there I go. The other thing is what do I do about this bypass? So this bypass is working, if you keep the thermostat on, this is circulating some coolant, okay? Well, you just, I just turned a plug, but you can get um, a brass plug from your hardware store that's a half inch in diameter or whatever that is in metric, um, uh, and just insert it in Got an extra clamp here, plug it off, and there we go. Now this is plugged off and won't be used. So I've had lots of success with this. Saves money. You don't need to buy the expensive hoses. Uh, they're nice. Um, don't get me wrong. But in 40, this is my 41st year, I've never blown a coolant hose. I'm sure people have. I know they have. Uh, but I have not. And I've seen some pretty gnarly ones on bikes. And it's amazing how well they hold up. So, uh I tend to not spend money on places I don't have to, uh, and this is one I can solve pretty quick and easy. So I'm going to put this back together and show you a few things I noticed on this bike that you need to pay attention to. All right, I got it back together, and you can see that plug is there. Everything's tightened back up. I also put my radiator braces on. These are the ones, style that worked for me. These are just beta ones. I've used the Enduro Engineering and they've been great. It's tedious. It's a long process. Um, but if you're patient, you'll get it done. One thing to keep in mind is the way that the wiring routes down here and under. Just pay attention to that. And one little trick that I do is I always take pictures before I take things apart so I know what's going on. So, all right, so thermostat's done. On to fan. And then we're going to start on the uh, front end of it. All right, guys. I've got the fan installed. And again, I went with the Tusk Universal fan. There's other fans out there. Uh, this time, I mounted the sensor up top so I can see it. And I put the hour meter back here in this little compartment, which works on the two strokes, the four strokes, I think uh, that's used up. So my rain slick meter or whatever this, whatever you call that, um, I put that over here. That's where I had it last time. And you see, I've got my, my key lock here, my steering stem lock uh, gooed up. Uh, and I'm gonna put this uh, 3D printed cap over it. And now nothing will ever get in there. So that's all good there. So the wiring, the sensors uh, back in here, I think you can see that. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There it is. So I've got that in there and I've got a wire through it to keep it put. All the wiring's tucked away. Nothing's in the way. The focus isn't working great on it, but uh, it all worked out good. Again, just take your time, but I've been, uh, Happy with the way everything works, the way everything goes. I think everything will be just fine. So more to come. Now we're gonna start working on the controls, hand guards, switches, headlights, all that stuff here. So 
More to come. We're getting close. Hope to ride soon.